is Mental Health Awareness Month, a time to highlight the challenges that millions face and often in silence. Joining us now in studio to talk a bit further about this topic, we have Dr. Latoya Taylor, a clinical psychologist. Thanks so much for being on with us this morning. Thank so you for important. having me. Thank we you for having it. me. So first, can you tell us some benefits? I want to talk to you about preventative mental mm -hmm. health care. What can we do before it gets to a really rough place? Yeah, so I definitely recommend going to a therapist. Um, if you're starting to notice signs that you are noticing anxiety, um, if you're noticing depression, many times people come to therapy and they're not exactly sure what's taking place. They can't label it. So being aware of what's happening within their body, what's happening within their mind can really help them as far as making sure it doesn't worsen. Right, so if we can catch it early, if we can detect it early, that's how they can benefit. Sometimes you hear people say, oh, it's not that bad, I don't need to talk to someone. Yes. Uh, what would you say to someone in that position, if someone's listening, that's their loved one, that's their spouse, they're like, oh, this sounds just like so and so, maybe convincing them how it can help them down the line. Yeah, so reminding them, one, that we are people just like you are, right? And talking to us, one, we're confidential. We give a confidential face where you're able to share with me what's taking place, and it's just between you and I. Sometimes people use their family members, and they're like, oh, this, this advice is not objective. Well, coming to us, it's objective. You have the opportunity to have someone who's an expert and who can really support you. Mm -hmm. I feel like even just in my lifetime, the difference yeah. between people talking about therapy 10, 15 years yeah. ago to today, yeah. it's just a 180. Now you have so many people who are very open about, oh, me and my therapist every Tuesday. I love him. I love her. Yes. Do you feel like we've seen such a positive shift in the right direction with with people not being ashamed or not feeling the stigma and talking about their therapist and therapy. Absolutely. I think there has been such a shift, especially after COVID, now that there's telehealth, mm -hmm. there's more accessibility, people are coming in. And then yet there are still some people who are like, I don't know. I don't know if it's right for me. I don't know if the therapist is going to get me. I don't trust therapists. And so a lot of that is really building comfort with your therapist and knowledge and that one, we're trying to connect with you, we're supporting you, and we're rooting for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I just know in the past, it's like, oh, you're going to marital counseling or therapy, mm -hmm. what's wrong? And now mm -hmm. it's like, good for you. Way to be proactive. For sure. It's just kind of changed. What are some things people can do in their daily lives to improve their mental health? Those small steps we can take that make a bigger mm -hmm. difference. I think the first small step is acknowledging and having the insight as to what is uncomfortable for you. What is What tends to make you feel anxious? Acknowledging like, oh wow, that moment really had me down. Mm. Did I sit there for a second and think about it? That that impacted me in a way that I didn't expect? And so what does that mean for me? Having that emotional intelligence, that's the first step. Then too, like acknowledging what is helpful for you with self-care? What do you enjoy to do? What is your wellness? And everyone, it looks different. And start embracing those steps one by one, I think that's really helpful. How critical is it, do you think, to someone's mental health to really just explore this? And you, you talked about the different avenues. There's in-person therapy, yes. there's the telehealth. Well, all you gotta do is crack open that <laughs> laptop or that yeah. phone, get your 30 minutes in. I mean, is this something you just really encourage people to take a, a second consideration? I do, I do. I think that when you think about therapy too, some people are just not ready. Some people are not ready, but for those people who are not ready, think about community. Think about how your friends can give you access to resources that may not have previously been available. And then two, knowing that you know there's so much power in therapy and knowing that you can come out feeling empowered, feeling changed, gathering tools that can help you to cope and really regulate your emotions in a healthier way. Absolutely, and there's someone out there for everyone. You there hear that is. all the time with ads, you know, switch therapist, find someone you can just talk to. Like we're chatting right now, I can tell you have that very inviting energy <laughs> and you make people feel comfortable. Dr. Taylor, thank you so much for your insight thank on this you. important topic. We appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you.